mummies. Human remains preserved for hundreds or even thousands of years. People around the globe have been enthralled with the mummies of Egypt. But mummies come from all over the world. This is the story of a journey through some of the most fascinating but least known mummy collections in existence. Mummies from Europe, Africa, the South Pacific, and South America. When people come to Mummies of the World, they're going to see real mummies, real people. When you look at these mummies and realize they live lives just like you and I, they were real people, you will connect with them in a way you can't imagine. We have human and animal mummies here from four continents. Uh, we have wrapped Egyptian mummies. We have a 17th century baron who is wearing brand new boots that were put on him at the time of his death. We have three mummies that are from the same family. So we have the father and the mother and a child. So we have everything. Somebody will find something to love somewhere. Mummy studies today use non-invasive ways of research. They tell us about the health conditions of the mummy, what possibly caused their death. Using DNA analysis, we're able to learn more about how they lived, and radiocarbon dating tells us uh, how old they are. This exhibition really wouldn't have happened without the science that we use to study the mummies. So we're using a lot of medical imaging technology. In our field, that's computer tomography scanning, so that we can see the mummy both inside and out without doing any destructive analyses, no unwrapping is necessary. Not only are we able to study the mummy completely, but we have a complete, permanent, three-dimensional archive of each single mummy. These are real mummies, real science, real people. We have real human beings whose hearts may no longer be beating, but they're still real people. We use real science to study them and tell their real stories. As we say, inside every mummy is a story waiting to be told. Mummies of the world tells many stories. Mummies of the world.